all right oh now step seven step seven review assignment we're going to create a pivot table and the media posts so you're in the media post create a pivot table insert pivot table and we're going to create an existing worksheet which is in report e12 i'm going to click e12 right there then click ok so there's our pivot table uh, step eight so we're going to insert uh, following stuff to this pivot table first of all we're going to uh, rename this pivot table as a day pivot so there's a pivot table name and we're going to insert day pivot that's one word and then uh, we're going to play we're going to use the day field to the row section and post and engagement rate to values engagement rate right there you go then change the label for each uh, first one posted so this will be posted and the other one will be engagement rates plural and there's something else to this two decimal places percentage so number format percentage to smell two decimal places click OK and OK make sure the engagement rate has a percentage with the two decimal places now 7d we're going to apply some uh, different style so go to design and what's the style medium 7 medium 7 is like a greenish yes and also uh, turn on bandage rose and bandage color that should be right here in the toolbar let's turn that on and 8e says modify pivot table options so excel does not auto fit column with an update so that should be under analyze tab and options and this is what the step is talking about all of the column with an update just turn it off and click on. okay so that was step a step nine so we're going to copy pivot table and paste it into the next section which is starts e22 right there so we have the same format but we're going to make some changes of course step 9 rename pivot table as a size pivot size pivot Place day with post size. This day post size will be replaced. Wait a minute. Am I, am I doing right? I think I change it to the other one. I made a mistake here. And this one should be size pivot, right? Oh, 
Alright, so just replace this with post size, right? Right there, just like that. Alright, replace the D field with rows. This one is just D, 9B, 9C, reorder so that the order will be short, medium, and so forth. So I'm going to just type it in short, medium, long, and very long. So it's just reordered. So step 9, step 10, what we got here. So in the media post worksheets, we're going to create another object. So media posts, insert this time pivot chart and pivot table. So I'm going to just go and click here so that I can uh, select chart and pivot table at the same time. Then we're going to move it to uh, report I. 12. Oh, B4, I'm sorry. An engagement type. Oh, engagement type. Okay. B4. There you go. That was step 10. Then we're going to re uh, rename this pivot table. So right here, pivot table name will be engaged pivot. And step 10B, we're going to uh, move click. Likes, comments, shares, the value. Likes, comment, shares. Shares too, right? Yeah. And move values item into the rows section. So here we go. I'm going to move this value in column to row so that it will show different, different way. That was step 10 D. Step 11. So we're going to make some changes to this pivot chart, by the way, this time. Uh, I'm going to move this chart to the report worksheets. So. When I do that, just move chart and select report. OK. Then we're going to place it into into kind of lost it here to a second. Okay, I twelve L eighteen. It's kind of short. All right. Step eleven B. We don't change the chart type to pi. Right. Change chart type pi, and we're going to remove those field buttons in title. So I'm going to right click on the buttons, uh, hide. I think we can do hide all fields. What they late. Then uh, title will be gone. So it looks like that. And uh, chart uh, style to eight. Chart style. 
eight, which we can see right there. Okay, with here yeah, there are variables. So that's step eleven. Step twelve. Uh, we have created another pivot chart. place in the engagement history worksheets. So I'm going to do the same thing, go to pivot chart and pivot table. Then we're going to place into engagement history. Engagement history B4. There you go. And I'll rename pivot table as history pivot. Step B, 12 B, uh, we're going to move date. 12. Engagement rate values. Like that. Then step C, engagement rate, value field, value field setting to display average of engagement rate, two decimal places. Average, okay, not the sum. number from a percent to this small place and we're going to rename this as one what was the name engagement rates there you go Step C, 12D. Now uh, work on the chart, pivot chart, change this chart to the line chart. So I'm going to click change chart type. Right? And remove the legend, fill buttons, title, engagement rate. And button, hide all the buttons and legend. Move the chart to the report. To the report worksheets. I19 to L27. Something like that. Okay. Go back to third pivot table according to step thirteen E twelve. Then we would insert slicers for photo coupon fields. So we're back to analyze slicers, right? <coughs> Excuse me, slicer, and that would be photo and coupon. So I'm going to select photo, coupon, okay. Then we're going to move this uh, slicers to photo to B4, B4 to C6, and coupon goes right below, I believe, B4, 
11, something like that. And uh, two columns, maybe two columns. Three, two. Okay, save the changes. D. Let's set the repo connection of both slices to connect every PV table. Okay, so select one at a time, report connections. Just click all those PV tables, so make all the connections throughout. Same thing, coupon, slicer. Just select all so that make all the connections. Step 14, I'm going to go back to E12 again, and this time we're going to insert timeline. So again, go back to analyze, insert timeline right here, right below, and then right by the insert slicer. The only available state, so I'm going to click OK, and there you go, that's our timeline. And we're going to place E4, L10, E4, yeah, kind of long, L10. So that's our timeline. Resize, I'm going to just resize it. 14B set report connection. So again, report connection is right there. Then we're going to make connections to engage pivot, day pivot, size pivot, those three. Then we're going to uh, select actually uh, only social media metrics for posts, but photos and coupons. Photos and Coupons dated December 21. December 21. So there you go. So these are the uh, actual data set for photo and coupon with the date of December 21. Display the post that match the 16. Double clicking G20. So let's double click G20 and see what happens. G20. Is this G20? If you double click, I think it will take you to the new sheets. So basically, what they call um, drill data, right? So it's give you more detailed data for that particular uh, cell. So we can save it as drill data because this is new worksheets. So, so let's say drill data. Alright, so that's it. And save it and submit it to Jojo View.